Good afternoon, welcome back to the channel Loving Life Mallorca. I'm Andrew and today I've brought you down to um, Palmanova on a little walkabout. This is summer, we're at the beginning of September and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. It's 30 degrees and today I'm going to start my walk on somebody's beach. We're going to take a walk around Palmanova and we're going to have a look what's open, what's not. We're going to go for a little paddle as per normal and we're generally we're just going to have a little bit of fun. So without further ado, let's get on with the walk. So I was saying, the summer has arrived, the hotels are all open, the beach looks beautiful, it's a lovely temperature, lots of people in the sea, lots of boats. Good morning sir, how are you? And all the hotels now are open and they're all just adding to the atmosphere. The atmosphere is wonderful today, absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to see the beach filled up, as I've said several times now for the vlogs. It's just nice to see such a, a change of ages, running from young children going up to um, the older generation, should I say. So if you're not familiar with the area, in that direction there, that takes you up to Magaluf, which would take you all of 10 minutes to walk to the top up there. Got these lovely hotels, there's lots of restaurants around there. And you do all your favourite water sports on there, being the donuts, the um, banana boats, all that sort of thing, or just rent a boat, or just come down here, have a bit of a relax and enjoy the sun. So let's take a little walk around to actually main of Pullman over and see what, what it's all about today. Keep on watching. Nice to see the lifeguard, isn't it, on duty. And you fancy hiring one of these little um, pedlos. There's a good handful here to choose from, isn't there? As per normal, the, um, the sea is extremely clear. Well, we're in September now, and September is one of my favorite months for the island. Because the worst, if you like, the worst of the heat is actually gone, the mid 40s. And now we've got the, um, the, um, the early 30s, early and middle 30s, which is really nice just to spend the day because you don't, you don't get really, really hot and it's unbearable. This is just pleasant. And it's a lot of people out and about, as you can see. And the water is still just beautiful. The, the sea is actually still warm up till um, October, the end, of, like, the end of next month. See them hiring jet skis out there. Plenty of restaurants open, if you fancy a, a drink or a meal or just a snack. So I'm gonna leave on Medis area behind me and I can take the path that runs by the hotel and takes us into Palmanova itself. There are a couple of ways, shift, three ways you can do this walk. You can do this walk which I do love as you can see the, the sea and the hotels and everything around or slightly on the left you go past a few of these shops and things or you can actually take the um, I won't call it a main road, but it is like the main road that you would if you drove this way. I just love how the sea changes colour. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? What a lovely place this is to visit, eh? Cool. Down here you've got steps, you, you can climb steps down and have a little swim. But you've got to be very careful because it's very rocky around here. And that is the Palmanova Beach in front of you.
so after taking my drone up I've gone for a little a little walk a little bit further yeah, the amount of people that are interested in what I'm doing and asking so many questions and a lot of them are already subscribers to my channel it's, it's so nice to um to speak to people that already know me if you know what I mean it's it's just lovely just to have a chat and as far as I can see now, I could be wrong, but as far as I know, the majority of these restaurant bars and so on and so forth are now open. Just look at all these people on the main, I wouldn't call this the main beach. This is the one by um, McDonald's in the corner, but it's definitely one of the two, isn't it? It's so busy. It's just so neat, nice to see so many people in the sea, isn't it? I've said so many times, but it just it gives you a bit of encouragement, doesn't it? When you start seeing people coming back to the island where you, you love so much, and a lot of other people love it as well. But with the fingers crossed, I'm hoping the worst may be behind us for the island, this is. Hopefully within the next year or two, we might start seeing lots and lots of people coming back all over the island from the north to the south and the east to the west. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope it happens. These people on the beach, they'd like to give us a shout out. So shout off we go. Out, loving life, Mallorca, absolute gentleman, true geezer. If you're coming to Mallorca and you want to have a good time, who better than loving life, Mallorca? So how, how easy was it to actually come i.e. on the plane did you find it hard Hi, my passport only got checked just before i boarded covid restriction wise it was fine yeah you were happy were you? Checked everything, but they scanned the barcode for the spanish form but other than that if we didn't even look at you we just scan it and let you through but you do you need a day two test because you need to fill it out on the uk return to uk form you need a you need like a barcode code to give if you don't have that they won't let you back into the uk so it's two tests the lateral flow in a day two pcr yeah, but to come out here, nothing, because we both got double jabbed. Oh, excellent then. Well, enjoy your holiday. Good the NHS, by the way. I'm okay. a nurse. Oh, you're a nurse. Oh, well done. <laughs> yeah, big clap for the lady who's a nurse. You take care and enjoy your holiday, guys. Absolute pleasure, sir. I'm hearing lots and lots of English language around today, which is really, really nice. And as that chap said a minute ago, it's so very easy, as long as you've got your two jabs, to get yourself over here. And it really wasn't a problem for them as well, which was really nice. And when they go, go home, they've got to get the test here, which is only 30 euros or thereabouts. And then they've got the, um, the test when they get back into Britain. And of course, if you do fancy a little bit of space, if you're not that confident on on it all at the moment. Then as you can see here, the further you come away from the sea, the more space you get. So there's plenty of space here. You've got volleyball nets over there, under the trees. You can have a picnic. Loads of the um, locals bring their own picnic and sit under the beach where it's nice and um, shaded under there. So you can see here, further away from the beach, it's ever so empty. down at Mac, um, McDonald's in where I am now. Look at the amount of spare lounges there are to be rented. And if you do fancy a drink or a meal or something, the actual shops are only just over the other side of the wall, which are only um, a 30 second walk away from the beach. McDonald's is just there, which will only take you a couple of minutes or so to walk to. So everything it's at your doorstep just here, isn't there? It's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Just look at the colour. All the colours just blend so nicely together, don't they? So this is where this little beach just finishes now. You either climb up the steps so you can see in front of you there, or you can climb on the little path there. But if you want to go the pathway, which we are going today, you have to go up the steps over there. So 
if you are, have got a walking disability, obviously, this way wouldn't be the best way for you. You'd need to go on the um, on the path next to the road for the next little bit. It's just like, it's such a lovely angle, isn't it? Just here, just have a look at the the beach and actually see how far you've walked. So up the steps we walk. Of course you've got some of the plenty of walks around here, some of the hotels around here. Beautiful views again of the sea itself and the beach. Found this little jetty for a better word down here they're doing a little bit of fishing down here i don't know if they're going to be lucky or not but so it looks like they have been um lucky today doesn't it quite a little fish congratulations Merci. dinner you want to Life is so fast, isn't it? You just kind of keep on going all the time. But over in Mallorca, it's many of the islands, it's just, it's so laid back. Why, why run when you can walk type of thing? Just, just take your time, relax and enjoy. And when you go for a little walk off the beaten track, like I do quite often, it's surprising what you do find, isn't it? So, but if you do come here on a holiday in the near future, just, just please look past the engine, you know, just go and have a, a coffee in one of the cafes or whatever and spread the love, just spread the love, it's all worth it. So we're going to continue our walk now, as I said, unless there's another way of getting up here, it's not really possible in a wheelchair or that sort of thing because there's steps both sides of this path. So look at those rocks so. So there's so many different ways, so many different paths around here. Got a little, a few steps down there, take you to another. Oh, look, there's a, there's a dog beach just down there, which is handy to know, isn't it? So, a few steps take you down there if you like your real, like your peace and quiet. I'd love to sit down there and have a little look, maybe read a book if you like your proper quiet. I started filming at 12 o'clock today. It's now just gone two. As you can see though, there's still plenty of people out there enjoying the, um, the beach and the sun, isn't there? And the restaurants are really, really packed up as well, which is nice to see restaurants, bars and things doing quite well, isn't it? So again, you can carry on walking around the path or you can come onto the sand, have a little paddle or a swim, whichever takes your fancy. And again, there's lots and lots of loungers that haven't been taken up on the beach. So if you do fancy a lounger, there are plenty of them to go around this year. And these little boats I was telling you about, as I said, it's a very, very tiny little port. But it's still a port jet skis down there look 
got loads of jet skis at the back there. They'd probably rent them out at the all. And up here, this is the, um, back to the main road again. Have a look at the shops and the restaurants, that sort of thing, so we do a return. There's a few, few restaurants up here as well. It's just a couple there, so Texas and hotels. So this is the start now. We're at a cafe, a few more hotels, some shops are, all oh, the main tourist areas along here. And if you recognize this heart, the Calvia on top of it, then um, obviously this is where we are at the beginning of Pullman Over, as I like to call it. Even if just one holiday maker buys a meal or something that normally wouldn't have bought anything, that felt like I've done my job then, if you know what I mean, trying to put the oomph back into Mallorca. It just takes one, one person out of every family to buy a beer, buy coffee or buy something. It doesn't sell much, does it? It's like a couple of quid, for instance. But if everybody who goes all inclusive spends a couple of quid, that does make a lot of money in the till, doesn't it? Just look, it's beautiful, isn't it? That beach is absolutely gorgeous. But I'm gonna walk the other side of the beach now. Have a look at some of these cafe, bars, restaurants, that sort of thing, see what's, see what's happening. I said, a lot of it does seem to be open now which is really good than the last time I came down, a couple of months ago or whatever. Yogurt, ice creams, tapas, burgers, tobacco shops. It's looking, it's looking very promising, let's put it that way. It's really looking, looking lovely, like it always was. And it really doesn't look like we've ever had anything else but this. There's still the evidence of COVID everywhere, as you can imagine, but it really doesn't, it's not obvious anymore, let's put it that way, it's not obvious now. And it's just around the corner here. I, I film it all the time, every time I'm down here I keep on saying it, because I really do enjoy the, the um, Golf Fantasia when we come down here, we need to always go on it, it really is, really is good fun. I think golf for taste here, there's three different golf pitches, if you like, if you want to be called them. There's 90 holes all in all. You don't have to play all of them. You can play one of them, or you can play all three. They're, um, they're called, one's called a bird. I um, forget what the others are called. But they're, um, they're, there's a little restaurant in there as well. So you can go and get a drink. Or you can play the golf. I'm not sure if it opens seven days a week now. Today is a Saturday, so it's, that's why it's very busy at the moment. Who's this? I just love it in here, just walking around, looking at the waterfalls, the birds, and everything else it has to offer. Anyway, let's go back up the. Um, the beach path and have a look what else is open. Nice to see so many people, as I've said so many times, sitting down enjoying, looking after the local businesses, isn't it? So this is Pullman over. About 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 around the corner, you'll find Magaluf, which is very, a very short walk from here, but it might as well be a normal speaking this is obviously it might as well be a hundred miles away because the two places are so very different however saying that Magaluf is starting to um, go down a lot recently if you know what I mean it's starting to get more family orientated they've just been into um, have something to eat and a drink and um, we're out and about again So this is still palming over. I 
I'm going to finish the walk just by Santander, by, um, just by Magaluf, just that area, because I think at Santander, that's when it becomes Magaluf. The last time I was here, all these shops across the road were mostly closed. But it's nice, really, to see, to see them open and trading. You know, since I was last here, it was only a couple of months ago, but it really has picked up, really has gone back into um, a tourist zone. It looks it's so lovely to see it. And the excursion company's up there. Look, you can see the boards outside. So the excursions we've got round here, we've got, like, to show you the um, fantastic golf, didn't I? And then we've got the swimming pool, haven't we? Just up the road in Magaluf here. Um, got the go-karts in there in Magaluf. Normally got the pirates, but they're not open this year. Well, it's a good, if you want something to do during the day, there is uh, quite a lot to do. Just round the south of the islands, got most of the stuff. There's bits up the north, but nothing hard as much as there is down the south for activities or whatever, but the hotels, reps or whatever, or the excursion shops, they could um, advise you on what's open and what's not. This is tropical, tropical cocktails and pizzas. We've got a really good bus service here as well. They've got all, all new buses. So, I mean, there's loads of them. Obviously, being, being new, they're all good and clean, aren't they? So it's lovely to get around by this bus service. They're, they're reasonably cheap, not as cheap as they were, but they are still reasonably good, good value. If you, if you want to get some money and get 114 euros for 100 pounds. Not bad, is it? 114. Rent a motorbike. There's lots of places around here to get your your test before you fly home if you need one of the tests that is. So I was saying there's lots of um bar side cafes, beachside bars I should say really open. Lots of little cafes, ice cream shops. And the football's on this afternoon, so that will be quite busy Rony in the bars this afternoon. Picks up the atmosphere, doesn't it, football? Lots of clothes shops around here, to are everywhere on the island. So many different places, shops to look at gift shops, tourist shops, clothes shops, you name it, you can find it here. Even if your suitcase is broken, you can buy a, a suitcase. So I wonder how this is gonna be like when the football's finished. Yeah, hopefully it'll keep on. <laughs> do you know when you've got the camera in your hand everybody wants to be in the shot do you know that it's wonderful really it's brilliant now many people come up to and chat to you about the cameras i've stayed you early wouldn't i what we're all up to since you mentioned youtube 
they're um they think it's wonderful best thing since sliced bread so this is the end of Pullman over Magaluf's only just round the corner a little bit then you've got a few bars restaurants are open round here these haven't been open for so long these bars just here there's little supermarkets just here but if you remember um, I was on the TV there was a big program called Magaluf Weekender which did promote the drinking culture should I say of Magaluf and the youngsters and all that well when it was filmed in Magaluf it was actually filmed in this hotel head called the Lively Mallorca and um, so this is basically where all the fun happened if you know what I mean and then they'd go around go around the clubs talking um, filming them as they were in the nightclubs and all that having the fun of their lives and they would be in here so this is the lively which had the magaluf weekender but as you can see here it's not very lively now so that's all the beach down there palman over beach you can take a right or you can carry on around the main road as i said and this takes you up around to magaluf so up here you'll find a few hotels you can see across the road there you'll find some supermarkets some restaurant cafes along here spa shops just different things to make your stay more enjoyable a few bits are still closed as you can imagine And the beach path I started originally is over the other side of the um, restaurant cafe, so on the left hand side now. And you've got a few bits for the children here in the evenings. Yeah, the trampolines seem to be the um, number one thing, don't they, nowadays? Seem to see the trampolines everywhere. So there's something here for the for the kiddies in the evening there's a bouncy castle in the middle obviously not inflated at the moment during the winter months here it's still just as lovely obviously the um most of the shops are all closed as you can imagine Pullman over a few bits are open but the, a lot of the restaurants are closed by then but it's still really nice here um the weather's still out the sun's still nice isn't it in the sun in the winter rather one of my favorite times to come was february march that sort of time to give you a little bit of winter winter sun and it was always in its 20s we've been recently we've been on the beach in um february march time especially with snowy because you're allowed to take her on the beach in the winter so she loves going on the sand It's all different types of shoe, um, shops you'll find as you're walking up. There's a few shops where all your choices aren't there, whatever you fancy. And of course, it goes without say, but ice cream, doesn't it? And then in the winter, you'll find a load of um, pensioners arriving for their winter sun. So you definitely get um, a little bit for everyone, should I say. And then the, the deal start up. Or well, they did, probably all changed now, isn't it, because of the virus, but used to get in the winter, you get some right cheap deals to come away. That's when it became my um, my favorite place down down the bottom end, because you can get some 
Cracking good bargains, should I say. Cracking good bargains. And then don't forget the beach itself is only a minute, well, not even a minute's walk from here, just over the other side of those restaurants there on the left. And up here, we're leaving Pullman over behind us now, and we're making our headway towards Magaluf, where I'll be, t I'll be stopping the filming. So that is Sombadari's beach again. So more or less we've done a lap of where we started from. And this is the beginning of Magaluf as I call it, just here. And this is the um, Santander, just here. That I always say when you get here, this is the um, end of Polmanova and the beginning of Magaluf. I will say this is where it all starts. All, all starts for Magaluf. Or finishes for Palmer over. And basically, that's that for another film. So I hope you enjoyed today's film. It's been so hot. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget the Facebook page, Love and Love Mallorca. And don't forget, I'd love to read your comments. So anything you got, leave them down below. And I'll see you on the next film. Bye for now.